Good evening YouTube, AJ2i here. I'd like to do a little follow-up video of how my SDR Play is connected to my radio and computer. Sharing my TS590 with my hex beam. I've been getting a lot of questions on how this is set up and I figured I'd make a video to show you guys. So uh, thanks to uh, KJ6YXI for helping me out with uh, drawing this diagram which I'm about to show you. He helped me figure this out and I have to give him a lot of credit and thanks for that. So uh, the main components of this are a ELAD switch box which is right here. This is my transmit and receive uh, exchanger. Um, and there's a bunch of various connections in the back here which you'll see in the diagram my SDR play obviously my TS 590 a splitter and a, my computer so here's the diagram you may want to pause this you may want to pause the video now to uh, digest this diagram and it'll show you how it's wired up so I'll leave this on the screen for a second let you pause it and it'll show you how the ELAT switch box the TS 590 the splitter, the SDR play, and the computer are all connected. And the components, once again, are the ELAD switch box and a mini circuits uh, splitter. I use a mini circuit splitter. Um, this is an SMA splitter. So um, this is these are basically the only other two components you need. Also, the cabling to go with this which was referenced in the uh, in this diagram and you can see that the uh, the three outputs of that splitter and the convenient thing about this uh, unit is it this the switcher key um, is RF powered so as soon as I start transmitting um, you know it uh, it recognizes that and it also recognizes when it's receiving so I can transmit uh, using my amplifier and uh, don't harm any equipment. I don't harm the SDR play or the um, computer or the radio or anything like that because of the uh, ELAD switch box. So there you have it. Hopefully that helps answer some questions and uh, enjoy uh, getting this on the air yourself. 7-3 from New Jersey. AJ2I out.